say to Woolworths is it's te de terribly disheartening to us as South Africans because all along we loved our Woolworths and Woolworths always claimed ethical practice. And for a company that claims such good ethical practice to supporting the most monstrous form of apartheid possible is just beyond, beyond comprehensible to me. Really, I mean, if Woolworths has absolutely no principles, then step up to saying so and say that we are people who encourage race hate, we encourage the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians, and on principle we will not remove those few products that we do stock from Zionist Israel on our, our, our produce. It would be a very simple decision for them to remove those products and stand by the principles of this nation. We are human first, we are South African second. If Woolworths cannot stand in South Africa, together with its nation stand, with Palestine's right of self-determination, then Woolworths doesn't deserve a place in our country. It's that simple. We expect you to be ethical, Woolworths. We expect you to behave principally. We love you as a country. We've given you our support all along. We ask you to step up to, to deserving our support. What I have to say to fellow South Africans, you know, that is what's truly sad in me, to be honest, is our fellow South Africans. Because we of all people should know better. When we fought our way out of apartheid South Africa, world sanctions and boycotts were our saving grace. That's what it meant to us. And if South Africans of all people cannot stand against monstrous apartheid, then what are we worth as a nation? Where is our principles? We have to be principled enough to take this stand. And I appeal to all South Africans to please educate yourselves, inform yourselves. Children suffer daily by this ignorance. And in a time of information that we live in, free information, ignorance is a choice.